I'm on my way to Aruba by myself. So this is a solo trip. It was actually a last minute trip. I hope you guys can hear me. I booked this trip actually on Monday. So yeah, it's like a last minute trip for me. And I'm taking you guys along. So I bought this avocado, old white, uh, tomato, and I think it's a tomato. Um, I also got a water and some orange juice from so eating that because right, it's like after 4 in the morning guys so it's really early heading to Aruba last one on the table alright guys so I made it to Aruba so I'm now to go um, showed them my ED card, I guess I might test. So I was approved. So I have to give this thing to the hotel when I get there. So now I'm gonna collect my um, bag. I made it outside guys. I'm waiting for a taxi so I can go to the hotel. I need a shower. that I had underneath is full of lint because of this pullover so that's why I kept it on like it looks crazy like let me show you guys look such a lint I don't know if you can see it so um yeah right now I just want to take off my sneakers and my socks and put my foot in the sand I just wanna take a shower, I wanna brush my teeth. I'm hungry. I just wanna be out there. That's where I wanna be right now. I will show you guys the room that I have. It's supposed to be a ocean view, cause that's what I booked. Guys, I'm back again. I feel like I'm sitting here just wasting my vacation. Honestly, it's 1.53. My Apple Watch dead. It's 1.53. And I, it's, it's early. And I feel like I should be on the beach and enjoy myself. And I feel like I'm just sitting on here just wasting my vacation. I mean, I have my suitcase. I could go change into like a swimsuit. But I just feel like I just need a shower and I need to brush my teeth because I was sleeping on the plane. My mom didn't stink, but I just I just needed to be fresh. 
I mean, I could do that in the bathroom. They have a bathroom like in the lobby area. And I could change my clothes in the bathroom as well. I think I saw some people doing that. Maybe I should do that. No, is that a mini fat iguana? It looks like iguana, right? It's so small. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm just gonna change because we still said I have to wait. Probably until four, which is pretty much I think, but come on, like people buy this in school, but that's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of this clothes, so I'll go to the computer. Here, four o'clock, it was in my fucking day. Wait for a They have a blue dryer, so that's nice. They have the towels, hand towels, and a, uh, face towels. This is a shower. It looks good. And they also have some products here, so let's see. Uh, what is this? Shampoo. Um, what is this? Body lotion this and body soap and some conditioner that's a nice lighting in here not too bright but it looks good and then to on um, this side there's a closet um there's a safe and hanger and um not a hang yeah hangers <laughs> and um ironing board and an iron just in case you need iron and this is a room um this looks like a king bed yeah this looks like king size bed and you come over here the tv um little like a mini kitchenette kitchen how do you call it again kitchen something kitchenette or something like that so there's a coffee or tea you can make coffee or tea there's a cups down there and um, the ice bucket if you need to go get some ice these are some drawers 
and then this is a mini fridge I just put my water um, that I bought from the apples in there and then the TV and then a couch area and then a little desk area right here and let's see how good of a view this is so I got the ocean view right so let's see Ooh, yes let's open this yes to this view wow waking up to this, to this every morning wow this is pretty i wish the bars wasn't so high though why is it so high yeah so this is the view down there i have a few tours that i booked while i'm here the plan was to just chill at the beach all day for the time that i'm here but i decided to um I decided to book some excursions, so that's what I did. Um, so when I was eating downstairs, um, well, the guy gave me the wrong order, but then he gave me the good, the right order, and then I just like, you know, let me just take it to go. So I'm coming upstairs, as you guys saw previously. The food, freaking half of the food, fall on the freaking girl. Spent thirty-one dollars for this shit. And half of it fall on the floor. Well, the food and the drink was 31. I'm just out here on the balcony, people watching, and I was just um, taking some pictures so you guys will see that on the gram. If you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is at Spice Island Empress, same as my YouTube. Um, so, yeah, I'm just chilling. Um, these shades are from Key Australia. I think this was the um, I think not I think it was the line with um, Lizzo the Collaboration with Lizzo um, This swimsuit is from Shein um, And these shoes are from Eagle official I This is my first time wearing them and um, never wore them before so they're brand new and it is um inspired by um Hermes. Hermes, that's how you say it. I was thinking about going down to go to the water, but um, I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna go anymore. And now I'm contemplating since that my food fell on the floor. I waste a whole oh. Since I got here, well, let me not since I got here. Since yesterday, everything has just been off the hinges. But my hair, then my bag, one of the zip broke. Not my suitcase, the, uh, my personal bag, one of the zip broke. Something else happened. I don't know what it was. It's just things is just happening. <laughs> But you know what, I'm not gonna let that ruin my vacation. This is my solo vacation. I'm not gonna let anything or anybody ruin that. I'm here to have a good time. I'm not here for a long time. So I just finished taking a shower and I just put on this um, jumpsuit. And I'm just chilling right now um, until I get ready for dinner later on, maybe like around eight-ish, nine. Right now it's um, five. And um, the restaurant opens at 5 30, they told me, but I'm not gonna get there until later on because I'm not really feeling to eat right now. So I may fall asleep or I may just stay up and watch TV if there is something good to watch on TV, um, or maybe like watch something on Netflix or something. Um, but yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna see you guys later on tonight when I go to dinner and if there is like any activities or things to do um, at the hotel or close by then I'll um, do that after dinner but my plan is to just come back in the room after dinner and relax and then go to bed because tomorrow I do have to wake up early tomorrow for my excursion for the day so I will see you guys later on
This. I got this from Amazon. Don't remember how much I paid for it, but I don't think I paid a lot. Um, so what it does is if somebody tries to come in from the outside and they apply pressure or the door applies pressure on this part, it's gonna make a loud alarm um, which would notify you and I guess others around you. So yeah, this is like a great purchase. This is battery operated, by the way, um, nine volts ba battery. So um, you'll have to purchase that when you do purchase this um, door stop alarm. ahead you always forget something i almost forget to bring panty so imagine yeah so i will see you guys in the morning i'm gonna be up around seven i have to be picked up at 7 45 to start my um tour so i'm gonna try to maybe get up like 6 30 get everything ready and then leave go downstairs for seven get the breakfast and then um wait until they come to pick me up Thank <laughs> you. 
place called Boulder Formation. So it is said that the Indians um, used this spot to hide from the Spanish people that came um, to the island to take over. I think that's what she said. But yeah. So this is what it's looking like and we're gonna climb. safari tour um, it includes lunch um, so we, you just saw the boulder formation so right now I'm going heading back to the Jeep so we can head to the next destination Inside of this cave, guys. Mm. This is the fountain cave. This cave over here used to be the temple, the church, 
of the first inhabitants of the island of Aruba, but used to be the Kaikatiyo Indian Zem. Where these Indian Zem came from, guys? From Venezuela. On a very nice, beautiful day, they can see us and we can see them. Because Aruba is only 15 miles away from the east coast of Venezuela. Okay? Like 15, one five. Venezuela is the closest island to Aruba. So that way, on a normal day, very clear day, like right now, if you go to Baby Beach, you will not see it. Okay, but a very nice day, sunny, clear. We can see them and they can see us. So we can see the whole coastline and one of the biggest hills of Venezuela was Ponto Fico, guys. Okay, here to Venezuela is a 10 minutes flight. 10 minutes flight, guys. So you just go up and you go back down. That's it. Tell me about it. I used to fly a lot to Venezuela. Venezuela in those times used to be a very nice, beautiful place. I know. Peaceful over here. Till the year 19, um, 1626, when the Spanish people then take over the island of Aruba. Most of our Indians that was hunt and killed and some of them became to be the slaves of the Spanish people them. Most of them was brought to Hispaniola when nowadays is Republica Dominican and Haiti guys. Okay. In the year 1824, those Indians with the Spanish people them did discover gold for the first time on the island of Aruba. But at that time, it was only 6,000 people we was up living on the island of Aruba. So Aruba was underneath the gold fever until 1837, when the Dutch people then find out that Aruba was up gold, the fun and the party was over for the Spanish people then. They came here in Aruba with better equipment to build a gold mine on the north side of the island, where there they used to smell the gold, put the golden bars, made them as blood, and export them. By the year 1900, Holland did export 3 million ton of gold, guys. So that's the reason that till up to the day, Aruba is still underneath the Dutch kingdom, guys. Okay? Before the Indians them left the island of Aruba, they left some Indian drawings inside of the cave. These drawings them are more than a thousand years old. They are protected by the law and also by the park rangers now. They was made by a Brazilian tree that we have on the island of Aruba. They broke it in two, there's a mill coming out of it. That mill, they used to collect it and with the red sand, they used to mix it up, make it as a clay and with that, they used to be painting inside of the cave. We're going in the back right now, guys. If you guys feel something dripping on top of you guys, please do me one favor. Do not start screaming and running like crazy people outside. It's just dripping water. But if you feel something kiss you by your neck, probably definitely not boss lady. <laughs> <laughs> You guys can see a bag of a turtle. Yeah. There's a family right over here. Okay, but this family is confusing me, guys. It look like the husband, the wife, and the girlfriend. <laughs> or the girlfriend, the wife, and the husband. In those days, the Indians them used to have one man and seven women, so you never know. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On that right over here, you guys can see an original bug. Okay, what we call cricket, you guys call it cricket, we call it tiracochi. It make an annoying, annoying noise. Believe me. And over here, you guys can see a couple of handprints and you can see a baby fish, guys. Okay? So, you guys see this to be our sea level, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
nationality. So that's the reason that here in Aruba we speak a minimum of four language. Or when we are drunk and high, we speak five languages. <laughs> okay? But all these four languages then is mandatory, obligated here in Aruba. Yes, I'm coming. 
I'm taking the antigen test. Okay. Yeah, I can take one. Thank you. In less than 24 hours, you get the soft rain. Okay. Thank you. You too. Thank you guys so much for waiting. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it's open? Okay. Alright guys, so I just finished taking the antigen test, it was $40, I scheduled them to come to the hotel, um, and I was running late, and the person who works at the hotel was so nice to knock on the door and let them know that I'm here. So I rather have to wait until tomorrow to take that test, which is really late because the test comes back in around 24 hours. So I'm happy that I get, I got to take the test and I have to worry. But anyway, I got into my room. The excursion today was nice. It's not really something I would say I would do again because it's like an off-road type of thing and it was so shaky and I don't feel like I'm, I want to do something like that again. It was nice, the people that, um, or the tour guys, they were nice. All right guys, so I'm gonna sit outside on the balcony and chill. Um, I do have another excursion at 5.30. I have to be down there by 5. So around 4 o'clock, which is like an hour or so, I'm going to go take a shower, get ready, or maybe uh, 4.30. I and mean, that's kind of cutting it close. So that's the boat down there. That's we are um, going on for the dinner or sunset cruise. I will see you guys later on when I'm leaving to um, go on the sunset cruise. Hi guys, all right, so I'm ready to go to the dinner cruise. This um, swimsuit is from Pretty Little Thing. The pants is also from Pretty Little Thing. Shoes from Eagle Official. Shades from Key Australia. This chain is from that earrings from Shein, bangles from I think good this I got this from Lulu's. Um, yeah, and it looks so cute. I like how I put up my hair like this. It's really cute. Yes. So I am ready for the dinner cruise. Right now it's 4:40 something. So I'm gonna walk down to the pier so that I can get um on the boat. And like always, I will take you guys with me. So I just got my ticket to get on the cruise. Um, it's $59 including like drinks and little snacks. It's my Pelican Adventures. So I'm waiting to get on the boat.
Camila. That's the name of this beautiful vessel. Of course, before we go out, I'm going to give everybody a safety briefing. Also, I'm going to explain about the restroom and most importantly, about the bar. My friends, let's start about the island. We're going to be sailing all the way to California Lighthouse. And then we're going to come back down. We're going to go all the way by the Baby Beach, um, by the Eagle Beach. And then we're going to come back inside. Everybody's going to see a nice sunset. Make sure you have your camera ready if you want to take picture. My friends, this is going to be the moment. Uh, next thing is very important, guys, is the hats. Make sure you hold on to all your night items, especially hats, bags. If you have shirt, boyfriend, girlfriend, no, I'm kidding. Hold on to all your night items. Right in front of us, my friends, we have the nets. In a couple of minutes, we're gonna risk all the sales up. If you guys like, you can sit to the front deck. You can also have a drink by the front deck. On each side, 10 person. Uh, very important is also the restrooms. We have ladies on this side and the gentlemen on the other side. Guys, remember, when you wanna go down, please make sure you go down backwards. Okay? And also, we have marine toilets on board. It's very simple. You guys gotta see a black bottom close to the sink, make sure you hold it in for a couple of seconds, everything is gonna disappear like magic, okay? But please, keep in mind, don't throw paper inside the bowl because it's gonna get... the boat I know I need to get something to eat so I'm gonna walk to this place that I saw called Gianni's I think it's like an Italian restaurant I'm starving you would swear they stopped me earlier on today but no they didn't so this is not really nice welcome to the Praia I need to figure out how to get to this Gianni place so let me look at my google maps and yeah hold on but guys actually actually I'm gonna go change and then go to the restaurant because I have this top on I don't think it would be an issue when I get there but I just want to be a little comfortable I don't need people staring at me because I have on a you know this type of top so I'm just gonna go change quick, wash my hand, wash my face, and then ask for directions how to get there. I'm gonna walk there. It's a nice strip at where the hotel is at. So like it's in walking distance. I'm pretty sure it's like five minutes. That's what I saw. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I just wanted to talk about the tour. It was an okay tour, you know, drinks was included and we got like a snack. However, the drink was watered down for me and the food that the snack they give you include chicken and I don't eat meat so it's not something I would do again I'm not gonna do the type of uh, tour again the, I just don't understand why the drink was so watered down one and two that they don't have like an option for you know people to have you know people who don't eat meat and the guy was telling me because i was like is it chicken he was like yeah and he said i should have emailed and let them know that i don't eat meat i was like okay i didn't know that i was supposed to do that you know but anyways whatever so that's why i'm gonna get something to eat because i need something to eat and i only ate like what one o'clock after one after two today and I was like, after seven minutes to eight, so I need something to eat. So let me change quickly into something so I could go to this Gianni place. Hopefully it's not full and I could um, walk in because I think you, I don't think you have to make a reservation, but uh, 
um, I heard that the place gets very um, full quickly during dinner time so let me go all right guys so i'm walking to the place it's a 10 minute walk i don't mind the exercise this is the top i'm wearing um it's a top from sheet it's a set but i don't wear the skirt i'm wearing my jeans that were from the airport let me show you guys the um the strip It's Friday night. So the guys had to walk. It's about a 10 minute walk. That's McDonald's dessert. Yeah, Pandora. Aruba Alo. I think I saw a Starbucks somewhere too. So yeah, it should have a Starbucks somewhere here. There's so many restaurants over there. places around here that I could just come back to and um and eat. Look, there's a dumpling on it. It would have been nice if they had like a hagen dance. Look, we have Hagen Dazs. I'm coming back for dessert. So the place is over there. It looks like you have people waiting and a lot of people there. Across the street. I'm gonna wait because I'm hungry. So I guess when I get seated, I will check in back with you guys. All right, so it's going off. Let me go to the restaurant. You don't want to do a bus? Can I get a 
to go back. Can you want? Yeah. Can you grab it for you? Yes, please. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm finished with my dinner. The dinner was good. It was delicious. Um, out of a 10, 10 out of 10. It was really good. I'm full, however, <laughs> I'm making room from Hagen Dazs because guess what? It's Hagen Dazs. So that's where I'm heading right now to get some ice cream. That ice cream tastes so good. Y'all tell me why this ice cream tastes like I never tasted Hagen Dazs before. It tastes so different. Now it's melting. Okay, let me eat my ice cream and walk to the hotel. See you guys later. Hi guys, so I forgot to mention that while I was on the cruise, I did get an email with my COVID test. It's negative, thank God. Um, so right now I'm about to print the, um, the, the email so I can have my results. I am leaving on Sunday and today is Friday, but let me just print it still. Open browser. You know, I thought that they want to charge me to use a computer to print, but the guy said just go on and print, which is nice. That's nice because you know some places they want you to pay for this shit. But anyway, let me do this and I'll be back. Up to the room. You guys want to see my outfit? Let me show you. So this is my outfit. I look cute, right? My hairstyle. I look cute. Look cute. Don't lie. So this is my fit. All right, let me. Go. Good morning, guys. My fit. I'm late, so I'm heading to the Palm Island tour. Today I'll take you guys with me. Alright guys, so the bus is here to pick me up. Gotta get my hair right, working late night shifts, gotta get back. Dropping round all night to the sunrise. All praise to the most high for the life that I got in my lyrics showing both sides. When you down, can't be waiting for no rope side. But when you up, everybody wanna co sign. Never saw me as a singer in a boat side. Never saw me as a rapper selling dope either. Everybody got a script, guess I don't keep one. Flip styles when around, been the most lethal. Just pulling off time, trying to figure out life. Turn to a ghost up on all of these sites. Ain't got no time to be worried about life. When I'm offline, I'll be feeling alright. Nothing but Fans telling me to drop mo. Niggas won't hard, but the girls like slow. Gotta take charge, be true, stay woke. Gotta be myself through it all, let go. Better than the people that would keep it inside. Been the bigger. I think this is the, um, the Renaissance Hotel where you can take the bus right here on the boat. This pass. 
need to get to the island. I wanted to do the sea trip. This was, but they say it's not open at 6 This is what I wanted to do. It was it have been so much fun, but they say they're not open at 7 days. So I guess Take blame, everything on me. How to make mistakes ain't the one and only. Block gon' shake, can't be caught in that shit. Prayers for my niggas born and raised in it. Easier to lose faith, not making it. Sunny days always got shade in it. More to life than what we complacent with. Still grateful for friends I'm changing with. Dream a car garage with a race in it. From the hood, so I gotta put pace in it. Is what it is now. Getting my day to Took a long break from the booth, gotta get my hair right Working late night shifts, gotta get by Dropping round all night till the sunrise All praise to the most high For the light that I got in my lyrics on both sides Alright guys, I just bought a beach towel Because I didn't bring one from home with me But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go back on the beach and relax. Hi. 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 Um, now I'm gonna turn up the orange juice. Gotta take charge, be true, stay woke. Gotta be myself, do it all, let go. Better than the people that will keep it inside. Been a bigger person too much sometimes. It's hard, but at least my dreams never die. Keep that in mind when... Alright guys, so I'm going to get oh Lord look at the sun on my ooh, that looks so good. Um get some food to eat because I didn't get any breakfast today. So I'm gonna get um some food to eat. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with how the sun just hit on the skin. Oh my god, okay. So they said they have some salad. Salad, potato salad, cabbage, and chips. Okay, and something to eat. Like, how they have? So this is my meal. I got some uh, watermelon and honeydew, a cantaloupe actually, some grilled grappa with white wine, garlic sauce, cucumber, tomato for salad, potato salad, veggies, and some pasta, some water, and some cranberry juice. Getting by day to day Here's what it is now Can't let it be the same Here's what it is now Getting by day to day Alright, hey guys So I think I'm ready to go back to the hotel Honestly Hopefully the boat And the um The bus take me back i don't know if we have to wait for everybody and i think the island closes at six however so i'm ready to go and i feel like it's about to win but the forecast says it's not it's just gonna be windy and a little bit cloudy but i feel like it's gonna rain like it did yesterday let me show you guys all right guys 
So I have to wait until 3.30 to get back to the boat, to go back to the bus, to get to the hotel. And I was like one something. So I'm gonna get something to drink, get some cake, and I just get relaxed until that time. But I, I'm over it. I'm not gonna go snorkel because look how rough the water is. The water is really rough. They don't have the trek thing where you could go underwater with the whole helmet. Um, what else? Yeah, and I just feel like, I don't know. I could do probably one of the water slides. Maybe I should. I don't know. I'm trying to do something fun, but I just feel like it's just not happening. But you know, whatever. We can't always have everything. So let me get some cake, some to drink, and I'll be back. Took her from her nigga, wonder why the bitch phony Living better together can feel the same as lonely Only what you cause to watch when your wrist rolling Never been a type to say that somebody owe me Give a nigga something that they wanna OD Rather take blame everything on me interested in the pool so I'm gonna head to the beach relax probably take some pictures if I get somebody to take my pictures for me so yeah came to the day was same here's what it is now getting by day day here's what it is now came to the day was same here's what it is now getting by day to day what it is now. I think there's hammocks over there. I didn't even get to go in the hammocks. There's whatever. I wonder where I have to get the towels. guys so today or tonight is my last night in Aruba and I feel so happy that I came I feel in such a good space I think I needed to leave New York to clear my head um, so this was a last minute trip um, I booked the trip Monday night and I got on a plane on Thursday and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made I just needed this break um, so right now I'm walking to Hagen Dazs to get some ice cream again and I may go somewhere else or I just may just come back to the hotel and 
and just relax. Um, I had a lot of high expectations for this trip, and um, it didn't go the way I thought it would in my head. And I wouldn't say I'm disappointed, but I'm just like maybe next time I might have a better experience. Like the excursions that I want to do, I really, really did not get to do them. And yeah, I just felt I just felt like it just did not go the way I wanted to go. And it's whatever, you know, it happened. I'm I'm still happy that I came here and I got away from New York because it's just I needed to leave, I needed to clear my head, I needed the space, and I'm happy I came. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say, and I, I forgot what I wanted to say, so I'm back to say that. Yeah, and I'm happy that I'm going back tomorrow. I miss Bree. So, I'm happy to get back to her, because I know she misses me too. Well, I'm going to end this vlog right here. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube videos like always and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed.